we start by obtaining any general point on the given parabola y square is equal to 4ax. Now if you put x is equal to 80 square, then y square is equal to 4a times 80 square, which is equal to 4a square t square, and therefore y is equal to 2a t. Therefore, the parametric form of the coordinates of any general point, say p, on the given parabola, is 80 square 2a t. Now we plot the given information on the Cartesian plane. The given parabola y square is equal to 4ax is always symmetric about the x-axis and lies to the right of the y-axis. The equation of the directrix is x is equal to minus a and the focus, let's call it the point S, has coordinates a0. Point P determined above lies on the parabola, has the coordinates 80 square 280 and from this point we draw a tangent to the parabola which cuts the directrix. Let's assume that the point of intersection is R. Now let's assume that the line segment PR subtends an angle theta at the focus S. Now the equation of the tangent to y square is equal to 4ax at the point 80 square 280 can be obtained by replacing y square on the left hand side of the equation of the parabola with y times the ordinate of point P that is 280 and on the right hand side replacing 2x with x plus the abscissa of point P which is 80 square. So the equation of the tangent is y times 280 is equal to 2a times x plus 80 square. 2a cancels, divide both sides by t and the equation of the tangent is therefore y is equal to 1 upon t times x plus a t. Now this tangent pr will intersect the directrix which is the line x is equal to minus a at the point r. Putting x is equal to minus a in the equation of the tangent we get y is equal to 1 upon t times minus a plus a t which is equal to a upon t times in brackets t square minus 1. Therefore the coordinates of point r are minus a a upon t times t square minus 1. Now the gradient of line ps which connects the point on the parabola to the focus can be obtained by taking the difference of the ordinates and dividing it by the difference of the abscissa. Therefore, m1 is equal to 2at minus 0 divided by at square minus a. This is equal to 2at divided by a times in brackets t square minus 1. a cancels and the gradient of ps m1 is equal to 2t divided by t square minus 1. Similarly, the gradient of the line Rs, let's call it M2, is equal to the difference of the ordinates of points R and S divided by the difference in the abscissa of points R and S. This is equal to A upon t times t square minus 1 minus 0 divided by minus A minus A. This is equal to a upon t times t square minus 1 divided by minus 2a. a cancels and the gradient of rs m2 is equal to minus of t square minus 1 divided by 2t. Now note that the product of m1 and m2 which is equal to 2t divided by t square minus 1 and minus of t square minus 1 divided by 2t. t square minus 1 and 2t cancel and we are left with minus 1. We know that 
if the product of the gradients of two lines is minus 1, then the two lines must be perpendicular. Therefore, PS and RS are perpendicular to each other. And therefore, the angle theta formed between them is equal to pi upon 2. Which is the required answer.